Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot here with another quick tip about ADSB use in iFlight EFB. So generally in this video, I'm just going to go over how to get connected to your ADSB and how to make sure that your information from your ADSB is getting sent over to iFly and to check if that's all good. So first off, let's get connected. So I'm using a Stratus 3 and the way we connect to that is via Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and click over my Wi-Fi here, and I'm on a computer, but you know, on your phone or your tablet, mobile device, whatever, you'd go over to your settings and your Wi-Fi settings. So I'll connect to my Stratus. Just might take a second here. And so we can see in iFly, I have a few instruments enabled that are used with the Stratus. So my AHAR is here. Now we can see it's turned on because I'm connected. My GPS status is coming from my ADSB. And we can see the ADSB status is out of range. Um, that is a little more in depth about how to go over this. So I won't, but generally that's fine. So first off, we'll check if our information is being sent well. So we'll go to menu, setup, and then ADSB. So when we click here, we get quite a bit of information that we can look at, the most important of which is heartbeats. So that's just, if it's going up, you know, about once every second, that's telling us that we are getting information um, and that it is coming in from the ADSB. And so you can see what else we're getting. So we're getting GPS updates, traffic. Um, a semi-important one is CRC error tests. So this is just checking to make sure that the data that's being sent over from the ADSB is correct. And the way we know that is if there's an orange check mark next to it. If there's that, then all your data is good. So if we click options and we click change selected device, this is kind of an important thing. So generally you want to always be changed to auto detect um, rather than being set on the Stratus 3 or whichever ADSB you're using because it will it generally works better and has a better time trying to get connected. So I recommend using auto detect. That's the best way to go about this. So now you should be connected to your ADSB and hopefully you got a little more information on how that works. You can always feel free to message us at support at adventurepilot.com or call us at 214-585-0444 for more info. Anyways, that's all. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.